Hello, traders. I'm uh, Juan Maldonado. It's a pleasure to be with you today. We are going to check some uh, live markets. We are going to check um, also some uh, past trades that I take during uh, last uh, month. And also, I'm going to give you some tips, some advice to, about Elliott Wave. So the plan um, on this webinar is to give you some uh, trading ideas and also to give you some hints about using the Elliott Wave theory in the proper way, but you don't need to be an expert. So that's gonna be my main message today. You I would just like to give yeah. some context, Juan, because I spoke about you earlier. Hi, so, Judith. yes, Juan Maldonado is uh, providing Elite Wave analysis for FX Traders Edge through the Elite Wave desk. And I mentioned earlier that he would be coming on today, and here he is to give his brilliant analysis on the many different markets that he covers. Sorry for interrupting, Juan. <laughs> Thank you, Jody. Yeah, so as I was saying, I want to share um, the, the way to use Elliott Wave so you don't need to be an expert. I can do the hard part for you. I can uh, do these wave counts and then you can just use this information and do the magic. You know, if, if you already have a strategy, you can apply it uh, with these wave counts. So, so let's start with an exercise about how to use Elliott Wave in an easy way. So the basics of Elliott Wave is um, mainly we have on the charts uh, an impulsive leg. So it's a five wave sequence, something easy. It's a little bit subjective sometimes because uh, we can have different wave counts. Don't worry about it because we are going to make it objective. But this is the, the, the main five wave sequence, right? And there are some things that you need to know before using this five wave sequence. First of all, let me tell you some mistakes that traders, when they are learning the Elliott wave theory, start making here. And a common mistake is that when you learn or when you use the Elliott Wave theory from another analyst, you are trying to catch like every move. So let's say, let's suppose that we are in the live market right here. So you start your trading session and you are trading anything, it doesn't matter, any market, could be the S&P, could be the Euro, could be gold, anything, any time frame, And you are live right there. And you see that um, your wave count, my wave count, whatever, is saying that there is a wave one. So your, your logic is going to tell you, well, if that's the wave one, we should sell it, right? We should sell this thing. We, we should go short and we should capture the wave two. Makes sense, right? So that's the decision that you take because you are trading with the Elliott Wave Theory. All right. And you go short right here because there is the label of the Wave 1. And after you go short, the price continues higher. And you say, oh, oh, where should I place my stop loss? Or I didn't place a stop loss. And you start losing a lot of money because it was a Wave 1 extension uh oh that's an issue right so at the end you're going to say oh a little wave doesn't work a little wave is too subjective you can redraw the waves while the price moves so i'm not going to waste my time using this thing right and of course it's it's a logical conclusion now what if i tell you that that's a big mistake is not the proper way to use the Elliott Wave theory. Because we know that the trend is our friend. We know that, the, that uh, we, we should follow the trend. So if I find my wave one, right? If I say, okay, I believe this is my wave one, 
the next step is to wait for a retrace. Could be an ABC. Again, don't worry about the labels. I take care of that for you. If you are not an expert, don't worry. A three wave sequence. And when I see the three wave sequence, that's when I'm going to focus with all my tools, with my knowledge, with my experience to find the end of the wave two. And there I can use any strategy. You can use our wavy tunnel strategy that is fantastic. You can also use any strategy that, that you like to complement, like uh, a candlestick pattern reversal, a price action, a moving average crossover systems, anything you can apply right here to find the end of that trend. But validation is, is key. Never buy the wave two because you think the wave two is there because it can continue going lower. So I'm going to give you some examples later into the session. So don't worry about it with more details about what I mean. But look, that's the, that's the way. So what I'm saying is that with an Elliott wave structure, the proper way to use it, and it doesn't matter if you are doing this on the daily or the one minute chart, is to buy in this case because we are going with the direction of the impulse. So our mission is to buy at the end of wave two and at the end of the wave four. Never in your life to sell after wave one, to sell after wave three, or either sell after the wave five, could be some cases that we can do it uh, depending on the context of the market, but buying with the trend, right? So first rule, if we find an impulse, let's go, let's trade in the direction of the impulse, never counter trend of the impulse, all right? Now, uh, the uh, money management is key. So let's say that uh, we uh, were able here to find our trade after the wave two. Uh, what if we add a trend line and uh, we both right here with experience, you are going to accelerate the entry to get closer into the trade, closer to the end of the wave two into the trade. But once you're in, in the trade, the next thing is what should I do with this trade? Should I keep it forever? I think that this market could be any market is going to the moon. So I'm just going to take my trade. I'm going to leave my stop loss below the wave two. And I'm going to forget about this thing. I'm going to check in a couple of years to see what happened. No, that's a mistake. Because we are traders. We are active traders. And it doesn't matter if we are swing trading or if we are scalping. Once we find an opportunity that works, we have to make sure that we are going to make money on it. So one of the, of the first things that you can start looking for is at an easy level that is the previous high, the wave one, right here, if you have any signal, and I'm going to show you something that happened to me on the pound, but uh, here, if you have any signal of rejection, you can take out your trade with that profit, or you can leave, uh, you can move the stop loss to break even, for example, if you have a nice, a bar, a, a, a green bar breaking to the upside, perfect. You catch the wave three, so you are going to hold it. But you have to manage the trade, all right? That's important. Always, always, always manage your trade. Another thing, another important aspect when you are trading with Elliott Wave is that sometimes you see that the trend has been there for a while. So you have to be careful because when we are at the market extreme, right? when we already have the wave five, and here the price starts doing a retrace, is not a sell trade, right? Because we don't want to go against the impulse, but it's not a buy trade either because it's too late. We can trade here, we can trade here. But after the wave five, yeah, it could extend. We don't know, maybe, but it's too late. So we always want to trade as close as possible 
to the previous trend, the, the previous leg down, right? We want to trade as close as possible to that thing. And once the trend develops, we need to be more careful, all right? So those are some basic um, hints that I wanted to share with you so we can now continue with some uh, trades. So the, the next part of this class is that I'm going to show you some of my trades that I took during uh, last month. I'm going to, to show you two, one that worked, one that didn't work. And then I'm going to share some live market analysis. All right, so let's do it. Um, I want to start here. Uh, let me show you my trading record. Ah, there we go. So I picked two trades from last month. One is uh, the pound on uh, July the 23rd, and one that didn't work, the dollar cat on July the 7th. I'm going to uh, talk about these two trades. All right, if you sign up to our membership, I'm going to give you a special offer at the end of the, of the webinar. You are going to receive my trades and my analysis, my live market analysis every day. All right, so why I like to, to show also my trades that, my trades that didn't work? Mm, good question, right? Well, for me, a trade that fails is a gold mine if you take the time to check what happened, right? Because we can learn a lot, and I'm still learning every day. I think that in trading, we learn and learn and learn every day. And the market is the, the best mentor. So let's go back to the past to make this exercise, all right? This is our website, this is our membership. Uh, this is the, the, the report from that date, right? Ju July the 7th. So we are going to recreate what happened in the past. And this is the report. If you, have a, if you sign up a, to the membership, you are going to receive my charts every day as well. So this is the dollar cat. And this was my analysis on the date. So this is the yellow wave analysis. This chart was posted there. And this was my plan, finding the end of wave two. Because I want to go with the direction of the impulse, all right? So I wait for the retrace and I start planning the trade. So that morning, I also posted the, the video explaining what I was expecting, what I was seeing, all the analysis and everything. And I take the decision to trigger my trade. So immediately, I post the trade to the members. So I sold the dollar cat at the 135.75. The stop loss at the 136. So that's a 25 pip stop loss. So going back to the chart of that date, here I, I trigger around this area, right? And I leave the stop loss right here. Why? Because I was thinking that my wave two was done. All right. Um, and the price, as you can see, started to go a little bit lower, whatever. Good. First target here, the previous low. All right. Now let's have a look to this chart. All right. So right here is where I was thinking that my, my wave two was done. And I sell here and I leave my stop loss at the 136. Actually, let me move a little bit here to the left so you can see this thing better. All right. Yeah, so there we go. Makes more sense, right? So I shorted here and I leave my stop loss oh, a little bit higher at the 136. There we go. So I was thinking that this was going to be my wave two, right? And because I was seeing some um, a dark cloud cover and other, other things that we used to validate the, the end, I was saying, okay, sounds good. I'm going short. And the price moved a little bit lower and then it started to move up 
and it take me out right there. So of course, not all the trades are going to work, but that's it. You know, I take my trade and if, the, if it goes to the stop loss, that's it. I'm going to look for another opportunity. And then actually the dollar cat show uh, an opportunity, but it, this one was pretty late into the night, um, London session, and then it went down as expected to the low, but I, I didn't take this one because I was sleeping at the time, right? So that's why I didn't take it. That was another entry. But anyway, this is the way it works, right? Now, this was a good experience. As I said, I really, I really like to register all my bad trades as well because, or, or not bad trades, this one was good, just didn't work because we can learn from them. Oh, and then let me show you what happened after that wave two um, that we were looking here. Look where we are. So you can see the yellow wave analysis worked, right? Let's go back to the, to the chart. Look, this is the, the forecast going down and this is what happened. So it worked, but I lost on this trade. I have a loss on this trade, a small loss. I believe that in order to be successful, the first thing we need to have is the direction of the market. Once we have the direction of the market, then we can use all the tools, whatever you want to use, candlestick patterns, price action indicators, anything you like. But for me, the foundation of everything is the analysis, is the direction. And that is Elliott Wave. Elliott Wave is not a trading strategy. Elliott Wave is an analysis system to understand what happened before, what is going on right now, where we are, and we are, where we are likely to go. And then, we are going to use our skills to, to get into the trades, all right? Now, let's do another one. Now let's check one that worked, and after this one, I'm going to show you some live market analysis. All right, um, the pound, yeah, the pound. So the trade, oh no, after this one, I'm going to show you the an s and trade that I take yesterday. And then we, we check the live markets. Uh, so let's go to the, to, to the, to the pound, this trade, it's pretty interesting. Let me show you why. So it was on July the 23rd, this one right here. My plan, it's, it was a Thursday. Uh, my plan was to buy the pound at 127, 127.10 with a stop loss at the 127.75. So it was um, 25 stop loss. I like to trade with the smallest stop loss because I like to be very precise with my entries. So that was the, the plan. And let's see what happened. July the 23rd. So let's go back to the past. And here we have the daily report from our membership from that date and here is the pound. So look, my plan with the pound or the daily chart, and, and as you can see, you, you don't need to be an expert, an Elliott Wave expert. If, if you like to learn the rules, guidelines and everything, fantastic. But in order to get these trading plans, you, do, you don't need to be an expert. So here we are uh, on that date, this is a daily chart and my plan was to validate the end of this wave and jump into a bullish trade. That was my plan, all right? And that date on the daily video, I said, okay, traders, you are going to uh, soon get my trade on the pound because I'm looking to find the end of wave two orange, this is one here, and once I have the signal, I'm going long. And I'm going to take some profits here because it's a Thursday. I don't want to keep my trade open during the weekend. I'm too conservative. I'm very conservative with my money. So I'm just going to take some partial profits here. Let's see. 
Let's see how it develops, all right? But for now, let's focus on finding the trade and then we will see how we manage. So that, that was a summary of that video that day. And I sent a letter through the Telegram channel, the trade entry. And let's see what happened then. Let's go back to the actual chart. This is like a, like a nice and at the same time, sad story for me, <laughs> you know, because I could make so much money here. Well, okay, let me explain. So here on the pound, that wave two that we were looking for, let's go back to the report so we can have the context. The, the fresh context is the two orange, this one here, right? Let's go back to the chart. So on that date, we were here. And that was my, my entry. My entry was so precise, so precise. You know why? Because look at the level. My entry was at the 127 with a 25 pip stop loss. Let's go back to the, to, to the chart. So my, I entr my, my trigger was here, 127, right here. Yes, of course, wasn't the bottom of the market, you know, like the last point, but it was pretty good. So I got here long, and here was my level to take some profits. So it was a Thursday. And I said, oh, I don't want to keep the, this trade open during the weekend. We are so close to the entry, all the weekend risks. And I said, okay, that's it. I'm going to close my trade with, with, at the previous eye. Because I'm seeing rejection, because, because I'm, I'm thinking uh, that's enough for me. It's a 60 pip gain there. Cool. It's good. Good trade with a 25 pip stop loss. It's a good one, right? And the Elliott wave projection that I did, because I'm, I'm doing this thing manually, clearly was saying we're going higher, right? That's clear. So I bought, I take my profits at the high, and look what happened then. The next week, this thing explodes to the upside going higher, going higher, going higher, going higher, going higher, going higher. And maybe with this retrace, uh, in case that we were, we were following the trend, maybe that was enough, but, it, but in case that you wanted more, look at this thing. Huh? Can you believe it? Oh, a perfect Elliott wave projection from that low right here. So there are two things. You can see that the, there are two things here in the markets. One thing is finding the direction, is having a forecast, is having an, a scenario, is having a projection of these markets. That's Elliott Wave. And the other thing is what we do with this information, what we do with these analysis. Right, that's the, the second part. And there we can have different outputs. I can have clients that will say, oh, why did you close it? I'm more aggressive. I keep it for longer and, make, and I make more money, right? So the output could be different because that's the way markets work. But if you add the Elliott Wave theory to your, to your, to your trading, is going to be a fantastic thing. And if you add my Elliott Wave analysis to your, to your trading, you are going to see the, a, a big change in your trading. Now, let me show you something else. Um, the other one that I, that I have for you is one yesterday. So look, let's go back to the past again. And this is the S&P. Yesterday, this was my report, right? And again, it's like the same process, right? I was finding the end of the wave two. These charts 
were posted in, in the website. I post them every morning for you. So my plan, again, was to find the end of my wave two. So I explain all the strategy on the daily video and everything, and then I share on our Telegram channel this trait right here. So my plan was to buy a stop the S&P 3283 to 85, that range, on the ES at the same time, because this is the index, was at the 3275. You know that the ES is a little bit lower than the index, but the waves and everything are the same. And the stop on the index, 3278. And the stop on the ES, 3270. So we are talking a five point stop loss. That's it. Five points, tiny stop loss. So I trigger my trade. Let's find here the S&P. Let's go back here to the past. Let me go to the 15 minute chart so we can see this with more detail. All right, so I trigger my trade at the 83 right here with a stop loss at the Seventy seventy-five. What? Thirty-two seventy-five. Yeah, seven seven points. Right here. So so I said in on the daily video, well, traders, here we have a great opportunity because because the SP was able to give us a three wave sequence down, right? And with these three wave sequence, if this is the wave two because you are not going to ne never in your life know that for 100% of chances that that's the bottom, right? But if that's the wave two, and we see some buying, we are going long at the best price possible. And let's leave our protective stop a little bit lower. Right? So actually it was at the 78. I'm confused. Sorry, I'm confused because look, I have here the, the two levels, the S&P and the ES. So I'm like reading one of the other, like what? No, the, the stop loss, it was at the, at the 32.78. Yeah, five points, a little bit higher. All right, so the price started to go up and then I, I leave it in your hands, you know? I'm not going to be there on your side uh, saying, okay, take your profits right now okay that's it i'm giving you the analysis i'm giving you the entry i'm giving you the stop i want you to learn so and, and i and i tell you what i'm doing but i also want to 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 leave this thing open the trade management because you need to develop your own trader and look this beautiful thing oh uh, look at the smp oh uh, come on there we go so of course, some traders will say, ah, okay, here are the high, that's it for me. It's enough, I will take my profits. Some other traders more aggressive will say, no, I need more money, and they are going to, to, to continue the market. But of course, it if, if doesn't matter if you are aggressive or you are conservative, you manage the trade, you move your stop loss, right? Because what if we are wrong? What if the price collapse? Right? You, you have to, to have at least a, a profit because that could happen and it's going to happen. All right, traders. So those are some samples of the trades that we have been taking. Now that you are more familiar with the way I trade, let me show you some live markets and let's plan some trades. All right. Let's go to the euro. Um, first of all, I want to show, show you the weekly chart. Uh, don't be scared with all these waves. I'll do, I'll do the analysis for you. Don't worry. I got it. And I do this analysis. I make the analysis every day, manually, wave by wave, handmade, wave by wave. All right. So, so here in the Euro, um, we have actually a really weak, US dollar. Uh, I don't know if you have been checking the M 
to curb the money supply, but the Fed is printing money like crazy, right? So that's good. That's what they are doing. And it, of course, when we have more dollars in the market, the, the, the price is going down on the dollar, right? And of course, in, in the euro is going up. Right? So we are, I think we are in a corrective wave on the longer term, on the big picture. And this wave too, eventually will end. Eventually will end. Or maybe the price will go back here to the high and I will need to change my wave count. So you, may, you, you, you can be thinking at this moment, oh my God, Elliott wave is not going to work because you can change the wave count. Uh-uh. Look, what the trader that is going to lose money is doing right now, if he sees this analysis, he's going to say, his logic is going to say, okay, if this is the wave two and you are saying that we are going down, well, let's sell the euro right now, right? And let's leave the stop loss above this high. No, never do that. Never, never. We are in the wave two on the weekly. So we can trade inside buying the internal trend. So we are going to be pretty comfortable buying and buying and buying. Now, the question that you may ask, okay, so when are you going to change the strategy? Well, the answer, the answer is pretty simple. Once I see a five wave sequence down and I start seeing the three wave sequence up, that's where I'm going to change my mindset from bullish to bearish. And I'm going to start selling here, wave one, wave two. Then I'm going to sell on the wave four. Then I'm going to manage, sell, sell, sell. But I need the five wave sequence. All right, that makes sense, right? Now, in the meantime, I just need to buy the euro. That's it. So let's do it. Let's plan a trade together. This is the lower time frame. This is the hourly chart. So remember, my, our mindsets are going to be focused on the long side of the trade. We are not going to sell the euro, right? Make sense? Good. Now, we are in a corrective wave on the euro dollar. So, this pattern is a flat. That's the technical name. Again, you don't need to worry about technical names, flats, six x Don't worry about it. I'll do it for you. So my main trait on the euro is to buy the euro once we have, here we can have a little impulse, then three wave sequence here, then a five. Once we come down here, so we have plenty of time. This would be my swing trait. Of course, if you are scalping, you can do your thing inside. I, I, we can go there in a second to, to show you how, how a scalp will work, right? But my swing needs to be to the upside. Why? Because the weekly chart is going up. I am, I am a trend trader, so I have to, to follow the impulse, right? So that's my, my plan. Once we get there, and if some conditions are met, I'm going long. All right? Now, let's zoom in. Let's go to the five-minute chart. And let's say you're scalping. You say, okay, but I, I'm not going to wait a week. Come on, I'm, I, I, I am an active trader. I need to trade right now. So if that's your case, sure, no problem. I can help you with that. Um, we here on the lower time frames, we can say that we can have here our wave, wave, wave one, three, four, five, an impulse, and we are in the corrective wave. So here, is where you need to start using your tools to find a short trade. That's it. Easy, right? So this will be the wave one, and we are in the wave two. 
So for example, in my personal case, with price action, what I can do here, I can wait for the price to move a little bit higher here. And if it reverses back below this line, I can take my trade with a tiny, I'm, I'm scalping here, right? With a tiny stop loss above the high. That will be my first option. Now, if I'm in front of a dip wave two, say something like this happens, possible, right? Then I'm going to wait for a moving average crossover or a bearish engulfing candle or another one to three pattern inside. All the things that you want to apply here, go ahead and do it. But finding the validation, finding the end of the trend. Right? All right. Now, let me show you the dollar gen because this one is closer uh, for, for a swing trade. I, I believe the, the dollar gen is closer to give us a signal. And this is the beauty of technical analysis. First of all, you need to have a strong mind. That's key. If a trade fails, you wait for the next one. You're not going to go crazy buying and buying or selling, whatever. If your trade fails, wait for the next one. Take a deep breath, slow down, rethink, plan again, and then trigger your trade. All right? So, look at this beautiful thing. Look at this beautiful thing. So, the, the dollar gen gave a move up. That's a swing, right? That's objective. That is not subjective. It's completely objective. It's a fact. That's a leg up, right? And then we have another swing. Do you agree, right? Clear. Now, the question is, the, the next question is if the swing up is a corrective or if it's an impulsive leg. That's the next thing we need to solve. From my point of view, it's an impulse because the corrective wave is going to look like, let me go with, with this example. And don't worry, now your screen is black. This is on purpose, don't worry. So let's say we are seeing the, the, a leg up. Let's compare like this one and let's compare with this one. So if you come here and you tell me, okay, I found an impulse here. And then you also tell me, hey, I also found an impulse here. And I think that both, on both we have an impulse. I have two trades, I have two, two options. And you ask me, which one should I take? My answer would be, let's focus on this one. You see the slope? You see that this one is more choppy? You see that this one is more strong? Yeah, both could be an impulse. Why not? But I prefer the one that really looks like an impulse. Because when I see this one, I will say, I will tell you, well, I think like with a 90% chance, this one is an impulse. And on the second option, I will say, I will say 60% uh, maybe could be corrective or it could be an impulse. And the price, then we will need to check. We will need like to force things because on the second option, we will need to focus on the corrective, make sure it's corrective, it's going to take more effort. But if on the first option, we have then a corrective, 
oh, that one is the best one. And let's say that here is, this one is Apple or AMD or uh, is the, um, the dollar gen uh, or the Bitcoin or anything in the world you like to trade. And this one is uh, the Euro, the second one, or the Aussie or the S&P or the oil. So let's trade the one that looks better, right? So let's go back to the Eurogen. I'm sure that after this webinar, you are going to see the markets in a different way. And, and after this webinar, you are going to start seeing things in, a, in, a, in another way. So trust me, you are going to start having good moments on your trading. Well, okay, let's continue here. So I think this, this leg down is corrective. Don't worry about the labels. I, I, am the ex, I am the expert, so I'm going to do this for you. Don't worry. And now we need to focus on finding the end of the wave two. That's it. So sometimes when we have a strategy, we are wondering, should I buy, should I sell? Sh should I take the bullish option or the bearish option? Because all the strategies always are going to give you a different signal. Buy or sell. So which one you ignore and which one you take? Well, with Elliott Wave, you have that filter. And now with this filter, we need to find a buy trade. So let's go to lower time frames and let's plan the trade. All right. Uh, so here we have on the 15 minute chart, let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five. Right? It's objective. So this is a leading diagonal wave. That is why wave one, two, three, four, and five, that is why we are seeing the wave four inside the wave one without moving below the, the end of the wave two. So it's valid. And this would be, this is like a puzzle, you know, it's so fun to, to, to do a little wave. So that's the wave one. And here we are in the wave two. Right, so then we, we can just plan the trade. So we can say, all right, I wanna take it here. I want to draw where the wave A ended support. Oh, this is the wave A, by the way. A, B, and C, right? So one strategy, there are so many strategies out there and, and one of the problems is that sometimes we learn a strategy and it doesn't work. Then we jump into another one and then we jump into another one. But something is missing. Well, maybe it's a little wave. <laughs> and if the price reverses up here again, that could be a simple strategy to buy dollar gen. We can add a trend line over here at that reversal point. We can go long. We can leave the stop loss just below the low I like to trade these things with precision. I don't like those trades where I trigger, and let's say, okay, I want to trigger here, but I'm gonna leave my stop loss 200 pips below just in case. Just in case what? Are you going to hold a trade for 200 pips? No, if the trade is not going to work, we need to cut the losses quickly. We, we are not going to stay there for for, for months, for years. Makes sense, right? And if it doesn't work, we go and find another trade. That's it. All right, so that's the strategy. Or if you are using a moving average system, whatever, you can apply it here. But Elliott Wave is the foundation of the trade. Now, what if, what if the price it starts going down right now here and makes a lower low. Did you take the trade? No, you didn't because the reversal 
because the candlestick formation, because the strategy that you are using to validate the end of the wave didn't trigger. So we need Elliott wave plus the strategy. Mm. Good, right? So traders that use Elliott wave without an strategy are likely to fail, but because sometimes that is going to happen. So if this happens, if this bearish scenario happens, I didn't take my trade. And if I did, because it reversed and also invalidate the wave count, I have a small loss, right? And if that scenario happens, it's a new opportunity. But don't go crazy. Don't go, oh, it make a lower low, so I'm gonna buy it immediately. No, wait for it. Wait for the reversal again. Could be a five wave sequence again here or uh, your, your system, whatever. Wait for, for something like this one here. And why are, we go why are we trying to buy? Why? And we are not trying to sell? Because if we go back to the big picture, the hourly or the four hour, clearly the direction is up with this beautiful move. And at least we should have a leg up. But the question is when the wave two ended. Here, lower, that's what we do on lower time frames. That's like the timing for the entry. So actually what we are doing here, we are taking a counter trend trade inside a trend trade because we're finding the end of the corrective. Trust me, always find your trades after you think the corrective wave, it's over. Use the tops to take profits, not to sell the market. Don't go against the market. Use those levels, to take your profits. Use the retrace to jump into the trend. That's it. And trust me, you are going to make some good money by following these rules. And of course, if you add our fantastic Elliott Wave analysis to your everyday trading, you are going to see improvement. All right, traders. So now I want you to do this. Go to visit elliotwavedesk.com slash offer. We prepare a special offer only for this webinar. You are not going to find this offer any else. So in, 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 in any other place. So visit this website elitewavedesk.com slash offer right now you are going to have your first month of this fantastic membership for only 27 dollars then 75 75 75 dollars per month right so you can have this trial and you will receive daily charts with the daily the four hour and the hourly on these markets. A daily HD video where I explain in five to 10 minutes what I'm seeing, my live market strategies. Also, you are going to find the Back to Basics seminar, a fantastic um, course that Jody did and you can have access to that as well. That's fantastic and you are going to get access to my trade ideas live before the fact of course I explain on the videos hey I'm planning this thing whatever on these markets these are my favorites whatever and I post the specific trade and on the next video the next day I, I share with you what happened we check we we explain further um, things after that so if you have questions please send us an email at support 
at fxtradersedge.com. You have, you have it here. We are happy to, to solve your questions. Here on the chat, you have the, the link. All right. Thank you, Juan. That was excellent. I'm just wondering if there are any questions for Juan. If you have any questions, just post in the chat box.